morning, Richmond High School. Thank you for viewing RAM TV. Today is Thursday, September 27, 2012. Student dismissal times are as follows. 2.30, Varsity Boys Soccer. Tickets for Friday's varsity football game will be on sale in the athletic office until noon on Friday. There will be a Spanish club meeting on Tuesday, October 2nd before school at 7 o'clock a.m. in Mrs. Dorch's room. Attendance is necessary if you plan on participating in the elementary school program this year. Please see Mrs. Dorich with any questions. Congratulations to the girls' varsity soccer team on their 7-2 win against Bishop Guilfoyle last night. The girls scored six half, second half goals to pull away from pull away after going into halftime tied at one goal each. Eight different players had goals or assists in the game, including a three-goal three night by Nikki Mihalik and one goal each from Sabrina Winger, Kathleen Co Coslow, Car Carissa Wellington, and Katie Devan. Sabrina also had two assists, and Brittany Mack, Morgan Miller, Ashley Roker, and Carissa Wellington all added one assist. Good job, girls. The varsity record is now has now six wins, three losses, and one tie. Also, shout out to Coach Deronda for getting his 100th win as varsity soccer coach at Richland. There will be a meeting of the high school reading team next Thursday, October 2nd, in the library. The meeting will be from 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. New members are welcome. Congratulations to the girls' JV soccer team on an impression 9-0 win over Bishop Guilfoyle last night. Sam Hauser, Nicole Miller, and Christina Rizzo all had two goals each. Abby Hauser, Hannah Keeley, and Hannah Samples all added goals as well. With a lot of help from the Richland defense, Sam Hauser and Courtney Seifert combined for the shutout and goal. Great job, girls. The JV record is n has now five wins, two losses, and one tie. Applications are now being accepted for this year's Outstanding Young, young Woman Scholarship Program. In addition to being a fun-filled learning experience, the program awards its winners with a cash scholarship and over 30000 in tuition scholarship assistance from various colleges and universities. Any junior class girl interested in participating in this year's program can pick up an application in the guidance office. The deadline is October 29th. Homecoming Spirit Week. Today, Duct Tape Day. Friday, Red and Blue Day. T-shirts for the annual Pink Out game are on sale until Friday. Please fill out your order form and return to D112 Mr. Wintering's room or to any of the teachers who handed them out. Don't be stuck in last year's gear. Those students that order pink gear will be entered into a drawing. Attention Key Club members. There will be a brief meeting Friday morning at 7. Be prompt, please. Sign-up sign sheets for the stadium cleanup are outside Mr. Wintering's room, D112. The first huddle meeting for Fellowship of Christian Athletes will be on Friday at 7 a.m. in the LGI room. Breakfast will be served. Starting next week, all senior high forensics practices will be on Wednesday and Thursday. No more Tuesday practices. We are planning a blue out for this homecoming game on Friday, September 28th versus Bishop McCourt. There will be a student tailgate at 5 o'clock in the parking lot. Please come show your support. Students attending the tailgate will be wearing blue, will receive a free pair of Bam Bam sticks courtesy of student council. The junior high Lady Rand soccer team improved their record to 5-1 by defeating Forest Hills, 8-5. Midfielder M. Hill had her second hat trick, three goals, and back-to-back -back games. Striker Mara Trable scored two goals. Midfielders Ali Mattis, Sydney Warshall, and Allison Petula each scored, scored one goal. M. Hill assisted on two goals, and Sammy Felton, Ali Mattis, and Emily Focci each assisted on one goal. Keeper Harmony Aircroft stopped all shots she faced in goal. Awesome job, girls. The Junior High Lady Rams host Somerset tonight at 5.15 on Herlinger Field. Seventh grade intramurals scheduled for today has been canceled. It will be rescheduled at a later date. As always, please check the school bulletin and power school for all announcements. Random fact of the day. Enough duct tape is produced each year to wrap around the equator 12 times. Have a great day. Duct tape!